Hello everybody, I'm here to tell you how to make a website on Weebly. So the first step is to go to Weebly.com. And now you have to sign up. First you can choose your language. Now sign up. Enter your full name. Email. the password click sign up so you have to put a title for your website I'm gonna put it um, the project so and the type you can put personal business group on um, education I want to put education the category is class project here you can choose a domain if you want to pay you can choose choose this if you don't you have to put something like blah 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 com so I'm going to use this I'm going to put um, how to make here this is your home screen so like so you can edit the home picture by clicking edit image you can use the original picture that they put or click add picture you can upload a picture from your computer search it off but I would recommend it and you can favorites from your favorite or you can enter the image URL so I'm gonna upload a picture from my computer Let's upload I got picture um, sample pictures. And now I choose this. Okay. Here you can adjust your picture. So you can put the size. And yeah, so I'm gonna make it make it a little smaller so it can fit. I'm just gonna put it this way for now. Here you can add text. So you choose the font. Really, size, color, and green, shadow. You can put the size you want. You have loads. Let's the glow blue. Capacity. Okay. So when I edit the picture, you can the I mean the the, the title or the text is right. Um, Okay. I'm gonna make another text over here. I say add text. Actually, I'm gonna delete this. 
and add another image. Upload this. Resize it. Says okay. Click save. Save to all pages. I'm sure you don't for this page, but so here right now you're back to the main, the home page. Here you can drag what, the elements. The there's basic multimedia. So the basic here, the first one is the paragraph. The add a paragraph. Gives you a title and the body, the text. So like you can put like animals. And the text you can you can write like whatever you want. Here you can add a paragraph with the picture. So there's a title, text, and you click here to upload a picture. And here you can describe the picture the way you want. Can you say this now? Yeah. You can link, add captions on here. That's it. Build the page. Again. The bottom. You know, edit the picture. So you can crop it. I'm gonna keep it the same. Click OK and rotate. Take this way or this way. See that's not right in here, vertical or horizontal. Keep the same. Say okay. The opacity lighter. Thing. Um, you can choose the side you want to do it. So side. Okay. In the effect, black and white, and I think keep it normal. Here, if you wanted the edges to look like this burned. And here it has a frame. Normal. Okay, save. And that's how uh, here you can describe it. Here if you want to add another picture alone with no text. Image. Upload. The picture is depends how large the picture you have. It, it uploads it the way you have it on your on your own computer. Right here, make it bigger. Here you can add a title to put like to put on the top of everything. Say like science or animal species or So I move the title over here. You can put a title flowers. And yeah, 
So and here you can put a multiple column if you want to compare between two things. Drag elements in here, paragraphs or pictures. You can choose how many columns you want. Three, four, five. And here the spacing between each you can choose or you can drag it by yourself. So here you can drag an element from a paragraph. Let's show this one more time. Here in there. So you say um uh, right rather and you can describe it and then add them um, here say blue flowers here I drag the picture and title I drag paragraph with the picture so blue flowers and here you say um <coughs> from here and here you can describe blue more flowers. Here you can click here at a picture of a blue flower. I'm gonna upload a photo from my computer and here blue flower. Open. So upload. Now you can resize. Doesn't fit kind of bigger. You can make this column smaller. And make this bigger. Here you can describe the file by the way. So here you can add other kinds of files. Okay. So now I'm gonna add a contact form. So if you want, I'm gonna add a contact form. Um, here, so you can press on it. That's press. Um, then you have to put a title. So they can enter a name here, or you can choose a title. You can change here. You can so if you there's comments and people want to send you put your they put they put first name last name in the comment here, and they click the submit. You have to, when you click the submit button, it tells you which each email wants to send to you the, and the form name. And here you can edit the text. With the text, you can choose, um, change the place of it. Here you can add a short box, a large box like this, a yes no option, like right here. Or a drop drop down box. See that option one, two, and three. They can check mark wherever they choose. And a drop down box. So here they choose option one, two, and three. Here they can also check mark, check box. Oh, I guess we have to do it if it's not abbreviated. Okay, so you get the idea. And here, this, you can add more. You can add a name, email, or a phone number, and the address. Then you click save. And you have it right here. Uh, here I've added a, a button set, a, a, a button. Here you can change the button here for like subscribe or anything, anything. You can write whatever you want here, like for share. And you can choose the style of it. You have four, and you press the link. And from the middle, left, right. So now, so now we're like done. The, the, we're done the basics in the elements, and that's the only problem.